Do you want to know what are the three single habits that if you incorporate into your life that it will make you a millionaire? Well, here it is right now. Number one, get rid of the belly fat and go for the six pack. What does that mean? Your health is a foundational aspect of your life. It is also a barometer of the success you are likely to have because it is a foundational habit. And if you can master this, then it's so easy to master everything else. It's easy to master marketing. It's easy to master wealth building, business building. All the other good stuff comes from your health. And so, so when a person has a six pack, it just shows that, man, this guy's on point. It's no wonder why so many fitness people end up becoming very wealthy and very successful in their life. If I had to break it down, it's about control. If you can have absolute control on your nutrition, your fitness, your sleep, your hydration, and, and your workout routines and your fitness routines, that tells me a couple of things. One, you've figured out time management. Number two, you've figured out how to create a ton of energy throughout your day. Number three, you know how to allocate resources in the most appropriate way. Number four, it shows me delayed gratification. If I see someone who is fit, physique, flat abs, I know they're able to conquer uh, limiting beliefs and have a powerful mindset. The next is the discipline of nutrition translates to the discipline of wealth. You have to have delayed gratification to create a superb body. You have to have delayed gratification to create immense amount of wealth. Essentially, reallocating time away from non-productive things towards your health Similarly, you're reallocating other monies that could have been used for just superfluous use or immediate gratification to investing for powerful wealth creation. And then finally, your inward physique, the look, the feel, it's congruent with your outward wealth. Why? Because it predicts success. It also shows a trajectory, right? To eventually gain a ton of muscle mass, you have to keep compounding your gains over time. Similarly, you're compounding skills to become a successful entrepreneur. And to become really wealthy, you have to compound you know, investments. And so if you do these things, you will be truly, truly successful and you're on your path to becoming a millionaire. Number two, consume the book of champions. And so right now, these three books sort of came to top of mind. Number one is The Almanac of Naval Ravikant. Why do I love this book so much? I've done another video called This Book Must Be Banned, so check that one out as well. There'll be a link. But it has essentially two dozen frameworks that irrevocably change your life and your mindset on wealth, on happiness, and on health. So definitely, it's a must read. Number two, The Everyday Hero Manifesto by Robin Sharma. Many of you have been familiar with Robin Sharma's works. He wrote The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. It's one of his most famous books. He talked about, you know, the leader who had no title. He has the 5 a.m. club. But really, in this sort of signature arc, the triumph, if you will, he literally takes all his best teaching, all his best knowledge, and puts it into one book, all his mind frames, everything in one super simple, easy to consume field manual, if you will. It has been one of the most useful books I've read in a long time. I would take some of these frameworks and start incorporating them into your life. And then finally, number three, this is more of a defensive book versus the first two books were more offensive. It's how to put points on the scoreboard and how to advance your life forward. This next book I'm going to share with you is how you don't retreat back. It's called The Mistakes Millionaires Make. I want to say, guys, at some point you'll start seeing it's easy to make a million, but it's much harder to keep a million. So many people fail once they hit that top of the mountain. And the reason why is there's nothing fail like success, right? So people get comfortable, they start taking risks, they make big bets that are not founded in due diligence. They stopped doing the little things that made them successful in the first place, right? And then, you know, you have all the people that want to borrow money from you once you're successful, or you have all these projects or opportunities which you know nothing about and you're willing to put your money into. So highly recommended. It's a very protective book and a good defensive book, Mistakes That Millionaires Make. And then finally, guys, my last piece of advice on how to become a millionaire is really keep metrics on everything. So there's a, a famous Peter Drucker quote, what gets measured gets managed. So by keeping metrics on critical things in your life, you will make progress. And so let's start with your finances. If you are new to the finance game and you're starting to just get a financial snapshot of what's going on, a simple cash flow statement makes sense, right? It's essentially a list of all your assets, a list of your liabilities, it's a list of your income and your expenses. And so to use Mint is very powerful because you start seeing all your investments in one place. You see all your bank accounts in one place. You see your credit card statements in one place. You see your net worth calculated on a daily basis in one place. There's no no surprise, you know exactly where you are day to day. And because your mindset is focusing on that, you're likely to make progress. And progress equals happiness, as we know. Number two, 
check your weight daily. So every day, get on the scale. It is a, a self-assessment of where you are, right? If you're gaining a ton of weight, number one, perhaps you're eating more and you're training hard and maybe that's all muscle mass. But most likely for most people, if you're gaining a ton of weight, it's either water weight or it's food weight that are from unhealthy choices. And so there's nothing like getting on a scale daily to keep your nutrition, discipline, and in check. Number three, check your heart rate variability. And I recommend using two technologies, either an aura ring that I'm wearing or a whoop band, which fits around your wrist. And both of these technologies are at the top in their industry in measuring HRV. HRV is a super important measurement. It's a heart rate variability. It's a global composite score that literally takes about six different factors and puts into one thing. One, it's a balance between your sympathetic and parasympathetic drive. Your sympathetic drive is your fight, flight, or freeze response. And your parasympathetic drive is your rest and digest and ruminate response, okay? Stress response, which is, should be five, 10, 15% of your time. And your relaxation response should be 85% of your time. What are the things that affect it? Well, sleep, your energy, your nutrition intake, like late night meals, for example, alcohol intake, drug intake, stress. So all these things affect this. And so this one measurement takes all of that into account. So if you overall are having a pretty good heart rate variability, you are truly doing quite well in life. And it's a global, powerful measurement of health. All right, guys, there you have it. The three habits of making a millionaire. Number one, get rid of the belly fat and go for the six pack. Number two, consume the books of champions. These are the books of the champions. Read them, learn them, study them, and eventually write your own book. Number three, keep metrics on everything. Mint tracker, percent body fat, and your HRV. All right, guys, until next time.